Today we are looking at how to change glow plugs on a Humvee. Uh, I decided to do this to help potentially alleviate one of the many starting issues. Uh, there's a lot of smoke I've been getting, um, so between several of the alternator, start box, and the glow plugs, hopefully that'll help uh, alleviate it. Uh, I did notice first thing that when I took out the alternator, it opened up this entire area, access to the bank, and uh, definitely recommend doing that since the alternator took five minutes to take out. Uh, it just makes getting in there a heck of a lot easier. Um, it's a very straightforward procedure uh, if you're like myself. Uh, I've never swapped out glow plugs on a vehicle, uh, spark plugs for that matter too. Um, so one thing I like about these vehicles is you can easily ex access and work on these things. Um, remove the boots. Grab yourself a 3 8 inch extended socket, various extenders, articulators, and uh, that's pretty much about it. Dielectric grease for the boots, anti-seize, definitely recommended for the uh, threads. As a military, I doubt did that as there was a considerable amount of rust on these threads and uh, various uh, times it proved to be a little difficult to remove. Um, that's pretty much about it. The glow plugs I ended up choosing to use uh, were Wellman, I want to say. Uh, by um, oh, got them off of eBay. Uh, they got a lot of good reviews. Uh, supposed to be made of the USA, heat up a lot better, uh, resistant to uh, swelling, which I did notice on a couple of the ones I removed. Um, took a little extra effort to, re to pull them out, and then uh, yeah, hopefully these. I never uh, changed glow plugs, so I'm not really too sure uh, you know if these are gonna you know, live up to what they say, but uh, I hope so. Um, in the comments below, if you ever swapped out your glow plugs and uh, you know, had good results or not good results, um, please comment, note the brand and why it was a good or bad experience. Uh, this just helps out our community and uh, knowledge is power. So uh, let's extend it. Uh, these glow plugs, I'm gonna ohm test them later. So uh, see if they're, the quality of them is really uh, still there or the integrity. Um, these two seemed respectfully okay. Uh, these two had failures in the material. There's almost like these little weld marks right here. So I'm gonna go on a limb here and say those were uh, have failed or were on their way to failing. Um, so yeah, it's probably a good idea that I did this. Uh, like I said, if you remove the alternator, you have access to this entire bank. Um, oh, one good idea is I do this to all any machine screw. Um, I've always done uh, my entire life is when you uh, remove the uh, glow plugs um, and you replace them um, with the new ones go counterclockwise until the th edge of the threads on the on the uh, glow plug and the uh, motor they pass each other and you'll feel the, uh, the glow plug drop in a little bit and then advance it uh, clockwise and that will eliminate or reduce the risk of you uh, cross-threading if that's something that you're uh, concerned about. So that's a classic little trick. On this side, um, you can probably access the anterior uh, glow plug uh, from here, but either way, uh, through the tunnel, you can pretty much get to uh, all those. Uh, probably a little tight fit, but accessible. Um, the driver's side bank I swapped out in 35 minutes, and uh, I gave myself at this, you know, a two-hour window to knock this out, which I, I feel I probably should be able to accomplish it, providing I don't run into any major issues. Uh, so it's a pretty quick fix, but definitely something that you're uh, going to want to consider. Um, but that's uh, pretty much the uh, gist of swapping glow plugs on the Humvee.